All right, bro. So, okay, I want to show you um, some looks leaks um, for you to start practicing on. Okay, I know maybe you might be familiar with the blue leaks, but I believe um, knowing this uh, the blue leaks on this shape, okay, going to be more beneficial and going to be more enhancements to your play. Okay, because mostly I use the blues in improvisations. Okay, though I depending on uh, the positions and in the, and and the, and the intervals I'm playing on. Okay. So let me show you the key of G. This is the key of G. Like you know. Okay, so that is a blues lick. The blues lick is a do more so to do. Okay, do to fa, do to so fi fa mo do. That is your one flatted, the four chord, sorry, the four notes, the flat fi there with the fi, the so, which is the fifth note, then just flat seven there, which is the to, okay, the to, then your one chord again, your one note again, okay. So fa fi so do do do. So you can play downward from the Okay. Now this is what I want to show you. When you play to this extent, this do here on the fourth string now, you can play it horizontal backward. Okay, from here you can play. Okay. So if you can train that, work on that often, work on that often, you get your finger and get used to the fretboard and you understand and uh, the, the combination of the mind, okay, how you can solo from your mind, okay. Stuff like that, you can even have your your blue scale on this shape again from your do here. There's a chord string from your do here. Okay. Sorry. Okay, stuff like that you can keep practicing that okay working on working on work on it up and down work on it up and down see your finger getting used to it okay now you can see how you can improvise that or maybe it's your minor seventh chord or with your minor seventh chord flat feet chord okay now times goes i'm going to show you more about that okay so that is it work on it whenever you understand let me know